All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to XCOM. Uh, we were just uh, kind of picking up some of the pieces. We did lose some five soldiers in that last terror mission. Uh, fortunately, we did get some money out of it. And you know what? Five soldiers, replaceable losses. Uh, I actually still have enough soldiers for right now. I have... Let me see how many I have. That's the wrong button. I constantly press the wrong button. Uh, monthly costs. How many soldiers do I have? I have a total of 30 soldiers right now. By the way, the uh, response I have gotten to the call for soldiers has been tremendous. Thank you all so much. I have had a few re-enlistments, but in total, my soldier list, counting the dead, contains 73 names. Very impressive. Keep them coming because, uh, as you might see from the memorial wall here, I have already lost 21 soldiers. Um, and it has only been two months. So we've recruited a total of 51, and 21 of those are now dead. Uh, the... basically every mission we've gone on. I think our lowest casualties were the 21st of February, where we lost three. And I think... I think that's... I think that's every single mission we've lost several soldiers. I don't think we've had a casualty-free mission yet. Unless I'm forgetting one. In any case, uh, I am going to go into manufacturing here. We're going to stop selling our laser rifles for a while. We're just going to build some more for our own use because we don't have quite enough on the Sky Ranger at the moment. I am going to put, well, when we have our tank on, we do. I am going to put the tank back on. Now, poor Commander uh, Rodrigo died last time. We now have Commander Adrian Shepard. I'm not going to take the Commander. I think this is a pretty decent lineup, actually. We got a sergeant, we got some squaddies. Let's take Orsai out and give a couple more rookies the chance to earn their bones. So, Chronos 12 and Noah the Tuba, welcome to the team. We don't have any armor. Oh, we have one personal armor. So, uh, Sived, you're a sergeant, so you get a set of armor. Here's hoping the, uh, the peons get to follow you soon. All right, we've completed our general stores in Americom, which means we can now transfer items to this base. However, we still need six days for the living quarters to be completed. Once the living quarters is completed, we will transfer some of our soldiers over there, and I'll go ahead and hire a few more. I do need one second. Where's my pencil? I need to be able to mark off names. That reminds me that I should uh, update the dead list I've been keeping, too. Okay, a little bit of record keeping. So, yeah, I'm going to hire... Do I have any soldiers in transit? No, I don't have any transfers coming in. So, let's hire ten extra soldiers. We will put ten soldiers over in Americom as a garrison force. And when we can... Uh, we're going to get a rocket launcher tank as well, and some rockets for it. In fact, let's just buy 20 more heavy weapon platform rockets. And we'll swap a tank over here to serve as garrison troops and some 10 soldiers. And then once we've got a couple of hangar bays, we will also start launching interceptions out of Americom. Uh, yeah, let's build our second hangar. We can't build there yet because it's not next to an existing facility. Okay. A medium-sized UFO. Okay, so this is a slightly larger alien craft, one that might fight back. Let's send up Interceptor 1, see if we can chase it down. How fast is it moving? Ah, uh, it's moving at 4,000. Our Interceptors have a max speed of 2,100, so we will not be able to catch that UFO. We're going to leave Interceptor 2 behind in case we need to get somebody else. It looks like that UFO is heading for South America. So, Interceptor 1, go down into kind of Brazil somewhere. Looks like he was heading south, more southerly than that. Okay, let's patrol for a few minutes. See if we can maybe reacquire him somewhere. Very often they'll slow down at some point. Yeah, we lost him. All right. Okay, we've got our rockets. Another small UFO. This one is moving slowly. 
Uh, this will be our first mission in March. I think I'm just going to shoot this guy down. He might fall in the drink, but that's okay. But yeah, he crash landed into the Mediterranean. That's fine. We get points for a shoot down, and we've got our ten more soldiers, so let's take this uh, little, little reprieve we have and name some dudes. So our last soldier was Faceless Goon, which means our next one is going to be our first, I think, repeat, Cortese. Uh, if you're wondering about order, I pretty much just take the names in the order that I get them. Uh, sometimes I'll, if I see a few more newbies, I'll push a repeat back to let some newbies get ahead. But otherwise, uh, order is fairly random and up to my arbitrary caprice. So, Cortese, uh, you're okay. High strength, so good heavy weapons trooper or grenadier with high throwing accuracy as well. Next we have Gene Godhand, and Gene Godhand has high reactions, good strength, and okay bravery. So, solid. Pretty solid. Nothing too terribly special except for the reactions being high, but solid. After him we have Drelk, or Drylk or something, who is a chicken, but a chicken with good firing accuracy, so I'll allow it. After Drelk we have Kratos, that's an A, right? No, that's an O, Kratos. Kratos has very good firing accuracy and decent reactions and high bravery, so you're a good sniper kind of character. You're a you're a good shooter back there. Next we have uh, letters and numbers. Oh, Fat Rat. That's the name. So Fat Rat is Fat Rat is really, really good. High firing accuracy, high reactions, very high bravery, high strength. Health, not impressive, but very, very solid. Good job, Fat Rat. We will overlook your obesity for now. Uh, and then we have... Mr. Tardio here. Uh, high reactions, high strength, mediocre firing accuracy. Good scout, lots of time units, high reactions. Almost certainly going to be shot. I can I can practically see it in the future. Belnivek. What do you have going on? Uh you have nothing in particular going on. You're a good you're kind of a solid like meat shield, you know? You're really good, I think, at standing up front. Well, you're not very good at taking bolts. Hmm. You're okay. We'll accept you. You're accepted here. Then we have Nihil or Nile. High firing accuracy, low reactions, which is actually good in a sniper, because if you're behind everybody else, the last thing you want is to be taking a snapshot when your uh, field of fire is full of friendlies. So high firing accuracy, decent time units, high health. Actually, that's pretty good. And over here, wow, you are definitely a sniper. What's your name? Your name is Nalrad. Nalrad, you are joining the sniper corps immediately. Vendela, your new code name is Horvath Bofi. And Horvath, very, very brave, high strength, good heavy weapons guy. Probably don't give him something that requires him to hit the target directly. Rocket launcher for this man. And that brings us back to Gretel Ostrich. That reminds me, did we look at our stats at all? Let's see how our good new commander has fared. Uh, lots more stamina, some more strength from that mission. Warhammer's doing all right. Luke Danger's gotten a bunch more health and stamina, which is good. Uh, Luke Danger is by far the most accurate person we have, I think. So, we've got our soldiery. In a couple of days, we'll have living quarters. Let's see what we can accomplish this month. Ooh, we have finished research on Alarium 115. So, this element has the unusual property of generating antimatter power when bombarded with certain particles. This creates gravity waves and other forms of energy. This would also create a huge explosion if this actually generated antimatter particles um because you know antimatter when antimatter which is theorized but has never been generated uh contacts normal matter it annihilates it and when matter is annihilated it releases energy and that is the basis of the atomic bomb so yeah this would be just like an antimatter bomb going off anyway i'm applying too much science to this this is we're fighting aliens in the year 1999 here so in any case uh it can't be reproduced this is the relevant thing illyrium is required for all the cool high tech and the only way you get it is by shooting down UFOs and capturing them intact. So now that we've got Illyrium, 
we can research UFO parts like power sources and navigation. Uh, we can also research, I think we need UFO power sources in order to get the next piece of armor. However, the next thing I'm going to research is the heavy plasma. The heavy plasma is the best rifle type weapon in the game. It's not too heavy for anyone to carry, even weaklings can carry a heavy plasma. It does require ammunition, unlike the lasers, but it does enough damage to kill most aliens and almost all soldiers in one hit. Uh, some aliens sometimes require two heavy plasma hits. I'm thinking particularly of mutons and sectopods, neither of which we have met yet in this playthrough. Okay, we've gotten our tank, so we are going to transfer to Americom, and we are going to send uh, a rocket launcher tank with 16 rounds. Actually, let's make it 12 rounds. No, let's make it 16 rounds. And uh, they are going to need some laser rifles, but we're not going to send them just yet. We're going to transfer the tank, and then... Oh, they don't have any... Uh, that's right, they don't have anywhere to live yet, so we can't transfer any troops. Okay, so at least Americom has a tank now. Now we've got our living quarters, so we can go to the base. And soldiery-wise, soldier I'm just going to transfer basically the, uh, the bottom few here. You guys will be the garrison for a while uh, until we get a transport there and can start carrying out interceptions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All those new ten guys we just hired, you're going to Americom. And manufacturing wise, how are we doing on personal armor and laser rifles? We're doing okay. We need to get some weapons over to Americom so they have something to equip themselves with. We found another UFO. It's moving relatively slowly. Let's launch the interceptor to see if we can't shoot it down. While we're thinking about it, the Sky Ranger. It's got eight laser rifles, the auto cannon, and two rocket launchers. Um, I'm actually going to take the auto cannon out. We're going to stick with two rocket launchers for now. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to transfer some laser rifles to Americom. Let's transfer those seven, and let's send the auto cannon and the auto cannon ammo as well. We'll keep the rocket launchers. We will also send over a few proximity grenades because they might need that if they get attacked. They might, they might, they might could use some proximity grenadeage. Let's see if this guy will set down. Hopefully he will. I would love a small intact UFO. Nope, he's outrunning the uh, the interceptor. Where is he going? Oh, crap. We're going to lose him. I think 2200. It's a very small, so it's just a scout. I think he's leaving the atmosphere. Okay. So we still have $977,000. Uh, let's go back to selling these laser rifles for a little while. Okay, good. That will stem the bleeding from manufacturing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You have got got to be kidding me another nighttime terror mission oh jesus okay let's get all the electro flares we can on the boat and all the proximity grenades we can on the boat and let's equip some folks with some armor we've got enough personal armor for everybody uh normally i wouldn't give rookies personal armor but we are going into a terror mission and any chance of survival is better than none. Yeah, Kronos and Noah the Tuba. Um, how good are you again? I need to make some uh, some cost efficiency analysis. Ah, uh, mm, both of you kind of suck. Kronos, in particular, is an enormous chicken. He does have a lot of health, though. And a lot of health combined with the armor means he may well survive a hit from a plasma pistol or maybe possibly even a plasma rifle. A heavy plasma would still just cook him into meaty goo. No other tuba has a lower chance. Still a chance, technically. I'll allow it. I'll give you armor. All right, let's, uh, let's do this thing. We can't wait. It's just coming on towards nightfall. We are racing the Terminator 
towards Chicago. We're going to lose, and then the, the Terrasite would disappear before night ends. So we're going into another huge mess. It'll be great. It'll be a good old time. Three terror missions in the first three months. This is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Noah, you get a rocket launcher because you have a lot of strength. We'll give you a laser pistol as well, and of course a flare. And a prox bomb? Yeah, and a prox bomb. Kronos, you get a laser rifle, you get a med kit, you get a flare, and a prox mine. Sodratic, you can have a laser rifle. Congratulations, you've been promoted. You can also have one of those, and you can have one of those. Don't spend them all in one place. Lobster Man, Mr. Mr. Lobster Man. Gus has 38 strength. Who's my other heavy weapon dude? Is it Gus? I think it's Gus. Gus, you're the other rocket dude. You have high accuracy too. You also have high reactions, which is a little bit worrisome. But let's look on the bright side. Probably you're going to die. Lobster Man can have a laser rifle, and that, and that. He's also carrying a spare rocket. Who else can carry a spare rocket? Sodratic, you can carry a spare rocket. So everybody's got a something. We're also going to hand out some of these stun rods to people who don't have them. Like Kronos. And the rest of this equipment will just keep in the ship. Okay. Okay. So we're taking fire. Tank didn't take... Tank took one point of damage. Which indicates that it's a fairly light weapon that was shooting at it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's sectoids. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? Um... In order to explain why I'm so terrified of sectoids when they are the easiest and earliest alien, you have to understand that we have not yet encountered all of the sectoid units. The sectoids have some other units that are horrifying. Just revoltingly horrifying. That one has shot at me. This one has not shot at me. So we're going to... come on. Please don't do that. Please don't waste your rockets. I need you to be killing sectoids. Um, we are in a corner. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I think we might be in a situation that militates for debarking immediately. Okay. Because, just because these guys have got the tanking crossfire, and I would like to finish them off quickly. Can I get a snapshot, please? Okay, the wheels are protecting Cived. Uh, Drunat. Why don't you give us smoke? Okay, good. Smoke. And then you can move forward. Africanus. Move out there. Throw your light, like, over there-ish. Don't think I need it there. We've got the, um, we've got the street lights here, which is nice, because the street lights do provide visibility. Africanus, drop that. Now, can you shoot at this guy? You can, and you're shooting the tank directly in the rear, which is actually okay, because the tank does not take much damage from laser rifles. In fact, it, the tank doesn't take damage from laser rifles. Wither Soul. I need you to end him, like, quickly. Please. Okay, one down. Good. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, the sectoids have units that we have not yet encountered. Their leaders, for one thing, have um, psychic powers. And they also have a unit called a cyber disc, which is even scarier than it sounds. Exalted, I need you to take a step, I need you to kneel, and I need you to kill him. Oh, Jesus. You can't be serious. You cannot be serious. How far could you run? Not far, but yes, run. Gus. Gus, Gus, Gus. You need 26 for a snapshot, you're not going to get that. It's going to take more than 8 time units to get into position. So, 
Get back on the ranger. All of you guys will just uh, kind of take it easy. Just kind of take it easy. We've got a smoke cloud in front of us. We're going to have another smoke cloud centered around here. I think that might provide enough concealment to keep my troops safe. I would anticipate that the tank is probably going to take the fire here. I hope. Okay, they're killing civilians. That's fine. Oh, that alien is trying to kill civilians. Great. The aliens don't seem to have noticed that we're here yet. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, somehow, yeah, they somehow they failed to miss all of the uh, the laser fire, the rocket, the screams, the explosions. Okay, that's another one down. So now we can start actually spreading out cived. Uh, we're gonna want to go through houses. So here's the problem. Here's the here's the uh, the problem. The problem is psychic powers in old XCOM are fucking terrifying. And in the ideal world, we would be able to stun a psychic alien and take him home in a bag to be tortured, I mean, researched. In the world we live in, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time and effort trying to do that. And in particular, it is vital when there are psychic aliens on the field that you never end a turn with aliens able to see you. So if an alien has line of sight, you have to kill it. Because psychic aliens can only target soldiers who have been seen. So... If you can kill the aliens without them ever technically seeing you, then you're safe, relatively speaking. In reality, none of you are safe, but, uh, you know, we all have to tell ourselves stories in order to sleep at night. I can't quite get an angle on that guy, which means it's time for a rocket. If you can't get an angle, just remember this, kids, if you don't have an angle of fire, that means it's time for a rocket. So Gus needs 26 for a snapshot. So go there. Oh crap, I moved him too far. He's not going to be able to turn and snapshot. Nope. Shoot, I hate doing that. Where's my other rocket? Noah has it, and he needs 23 for a snapshot. So Dratic, disembark, and head... This way, hide behind that pole. Noah needs 23. That's 29. Uh, tank, can you? You can't move at all. Okay, this is the oh, this is the problem I have with the time unit system. It makes you do math. Um, Noah needs to fire a snapshot. It's going to take 23 time units. Moving takes four. Turning takes one per ninth of a circle, effectively, per direction you can face. Well, there's only eight directions you can face, so one per eighth. Moving diagonally takes six, so he could move diagonally and then fire if he didn't have to turn. I can't fire over the tank, effectively, so let's just shoot there. That worked out very well. I think now Drunet probably has... Oh, Drunut might still not. Oh, yes he does. And that right there is a cyber disc. Cyber discs are bad, bad juju. They are the worst. You know what? Just, uh, run. Run for the hills. Run for your life. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap. Okay, just uh, spray fire down this alley, please. I would really, really love to have yet another rocket right now, but I don't. I have grenades, though. Uh, Wither Soul, Wither Soul, Wither Soul, Wither Soul. My old buddy Wither Soul, Wither Soul, my buddy, my pal. Prime that. Got 27, it takes 16. One... 
All right, what's your strength? What's your strength? 33, you might be able to do this. Just huck that thing. Okay, if that guy takes a step, he'll explode. If anybody else runs up in that direction, they'll explode. If Lobster Man can line up right here and spray some fire on that guy, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can accomplish something. Lobster Man, you are letting the side down right now. And no, that's not racism against crustacean Americans, or crustacean Europeans, whichever you are. Let's move Kronos up here. This turn could be really ugly right now, because I can see all three of those guys. Now, since I haven't actually technically hit any of them, they might not have noticed me. And there's a lot of smoke in between, so they might not have line of sight. So hopefully that guy will take a step and explode. Actually, ideally, this guy will walk up and explode both of them. But we'll find out. Okay, somebody exploded. Here comes the cyber disc. And they're shooting it to... Whew. Okay. That went better than I had feared. We're going to finish off this cyber disc situation now. Or not. Uh, one thing that makes cyber discs so hateful is that they are very, very, very tough. Let's throw that while we have a minute. Get a little bit of illumination going on. Yeah, you know, see all the uh, the laser shots? He hit it twice, and it's already taken a rocket to the face. And it just doesn't care. It's still alive. I mean, it cares. It's wounded, but it's still alive. That's four hits. This is why you need heavy plasmas. Because cyber discs and similar are just terrible. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Uh, you need to take a step to the side real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, please. Oh, please, please, please. Noah can reload, but then he needs 23 to fire again. Let's move the tank out of the way. And then Noah can turn around and kneel to get the best possible hit percentage. Okay, well, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that they deserved it, Noah, but it would have been more useful if you had, uh, hit the target. So let's try an aim shot this time. There you go, Gus. Okay, so we've uh, let's look at the map for real quick. Yeah, all of this is just destroyed at this point. Just overlapping radiuses of explosions. Um, the other bad thing about cyber discs is they explode when they die usually, and this one didn't explode, which makes me think it's only stunned, which is bad. But I just kind of have to continue here. Africanus, let's uh. Okay, please don't do that. Africanus, don't. You're all worthless and weak. So, Africanus and Lobster Man, after that unfortunate mishap, uh, she was killed by the aliens, you all saw it. A sectoid just came out of nowhere and blew her away. So, Africanus and Lobster Man are going to flank down this way. Sadratic and Kronos are going to flank across the road here. Let's throw that while we're thinking about it. Kind of illuminate a little bit of the darkness since we just blew up our actual light source. Uh, Kronos, cross the road. At least we don't have to cross the road under sniper fire this time. And shockingly, we have not been hit with psychic powers yet. Uh, I am legitimately surprised that no one has, as of yet, gone crazy. I do say as of yet because it's going to happen, I know it. Um... Our best bet, as always, is just to stay out of sight, which means blanketing the area in smoke. So we're going to prime this smoke grenade and throw it here where there's no smoke. Uh, how many time units do I need to throw? 16? Actually, there's a hole in that wall, which makes me think it's possible someone could come out of that, so let's blanket that area in smoke. 
Yeah. Yep, there it comes. Okay, Sivid's dead. Yeah, there's a couple of live civilians. That's nice. So there's a sniper down here somewhere. Africanus, get into the house. Uh, take cover there in the corner. No aliens in the house. Good. Lobster man. Uh, there's an alien, though. Can you possibly hit him? Lobster man, your accuracy is just so garbage. Um, take a couple of snapshots at him. Well, you sure destroyed some appliances. Uh, kneel down behind that cabinet there. That cupboard. Sadratic. Burn through this wall, please. Sadratic, I think you have your laser set to stun. Uh, you forgot to burn through the fence, so... That's fine. Bronos. Duck down behind that wall. Let's throw that over there. Shiitake mushrooms. Wither soul. Wither soul. I need you, Wither soul. You have a firing accuracy of 61. Can you shoot him? You don't have a line of fire. Good luck, Kronos. Good luck. Exalted. Scout for me, please. Okay, so there's the sniper who shot our good buddy there. Gus. Let's load another rocket up. Friendo, and hit him with an aimed shot. Right at his feet, please. Good hit, Gus. That was exactly what I wanted. Now this tank with the rocket launcher is not useful in this situation. Okay, so here's the problem. Kronos can be seen. If the alien doesn't turn around, he might not be seen, but he's probably going to be seen. And that alien looks to be carrying a heavy plasma. It might be a plasma rifle. If it's a plasma rifle and it rolls low on damage and only hits him once, he can probably live. If any of those things are not true, he will almost certainly die. So, we're going to roll the tank down this way. We've seen another alien in the back. Noah. Noah is rocketless. Wither Soul has a rocket. Give that to him, please. Noah. Rocket tank that direction to clear the line of fire as much as possible and Noah snapshot uh not exactly what I'd hoped for but uh, I'm sure you did your best and Noah will move a little bit further back to try and get a wee bit more cover wither soul meanwhile I think can shoot at him well, we sure showed that second floor who's boss. Come on, 44%. Oh! Through the window! Didn't kill him, but you hit him. Exalted, we killed that alien. Exalted needs to run over into this house. Uh, where he'll probably be shot and killed anyway. So, for this turn's casualties, we're looking at Kronos. Uh, no line of fire. What do you mean, no line of fire? Don't give me that no line of fire bullshit. Look at that. You can shoot anywhere you want. You can even shoot the tank. <laughs> See? No line of fire? You killed somebody. It wasn't the guy you were aiming at, but there was another alien in there, and Drunut killed him. <laughs> Good job, Drunut. Appreciate you, buddy. Um. Okay. Why don't you just uh, kneel down and make yourself a small target? Alright. Sure show those stairs who's boss. Okay, there's a lot of civilians being murdered. There's at least two aliens in that uh, in that little area there, I think. Sadratic. Burn down the fence. 
get over here. That's a cyber disk. That is a cyber disk. Okay, so we killed an alien. The rocket did not kill the cyber disk, and return fire destroyed the tank. So I'm really glad I did that with the tank and not a soldier. Uh, so far, soldier casualties, still only one. Doing pretty well, uh, he says, immediately jinxing it forever. Sodratic, take a snapshot, can you? Can you can you take a snapshot at one of its quadrants? No. Okay. In that case, can you run that way? Yes. Good. Kronos has a chance. If I can kill this guy, oh, there's still no line of fire on him. Gus has got a rocket. Now the tank is out of my line of fire, so as long as I can get down a little bit, I can shoot at the... at the, uh... the guy here. The cyber disk. See, that's what cyber disks normally do when they die. They normally explode like that. Good job, Drunet. I like your style. Thank you for exploding that cyber disk. So we've killed a lot of aliens and also a lot of suburbia. We are doing some real, real urban remodeling here. Um, but we've got, we got one there. Two, three, four, five. There was another one down here. Six, seven from the two cyber disks. Eight, one that exploded with one of the cyber disks. There were a couple there. We've killed quite a few aliens, probably more than half of the aliens on the map. It is definitely time to be advancing. Africanus, can you see anybody? No. What about through this hole in the... Okay. Yes, Africanus could see somebody. But now Africanus is dead. Stand up real quick, Lobster Man. Lay some fire down. Okay, good headshot. There's another one down there, though, so just pop back down and uh, stay quiet. Exalted. There's the bastard. No dice. Alright, take cover. Don't let him get a clear shot at you. Gus. We have very few lights out. Uh, we are somewhat illuminated by fire in some areas, which is kind of the classic XCOM way of doing things. And we do also have the street lights. Is there anybody who can take a shot at him? Actually, yes. If Withersoul takes two steps that way, he can get a lovely 70% aimed shot right down here. Or he could spray auto fire, which would have a better chance overall. <laughs> Since collateral damage is unimportant to me, let's spray off the fire. Oh, there we go. That's the connection. Yeah, um, because these are sectoids, one of these guys is guaranteed on a terror mission to be a leader with psychic powers. As I said before, I'm shocked that we have not been psychic powered to death yet. Um... And the only reason I can think of that would be true is if we've already killed the psychic guy um, early on. So, Kronos could rush. He might get aced by a snapshot on his way by. I think instead I'm just going to duck over that way. Yeah, just, uh, just hide. Just cower in fear. We are out of rockets, so put that in the backpack. Take out the trusty old laser pistol. It's actually not trusty. It's not trusty at all. I loathe and I fear and distrust it. And Noah is going to make a brave little charge. Gus still has his rocket. So Gus, swing down in this direction. Provide support. And Lobster Man, Sadratic, okay. Oh, sniped through two. Wow, sniped through two windows. Not much I could have done about that one. 
I mean, I could have moved him one step further, I guess, but you know what? Hindsight is 2020. Noah. With all of this smoke, it is very hard to see. That shot came from down here somewhere. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. That shot came from the second floor through the hole in the floor. That is ridiculous. Okay, so the casualties are up to four now. And we know what Gus is using his last rocket on. Okay, so we've busted that side way, way open. Gus now needs to fall back. Uh, the problem is that sniper kind of has us pinned down a little bit. Open that door. This is not the edge of the map, so we've been running along that edge of the map. Pretty much all our troops over here have been killed. We've got one guy pinned down. Um, yeah, that's a little distressing. Run across that way. Okay. We know there's an alien over there. We know there's an alien up here. Oh, no. Kneel down. Okay, I don't think he can shoot you without coming all the way to the edge. And if he comes all the way to the edge, I think Wither Soul can shoot him. Exalted needs to move up. Gus. Lobster Man. Lobster Man needs to move up too. Actually, Lobster Man, I know you're not exactly a sniper, but go up these stairs, please. We'll put you on the second floor in a sniperish position. Drunut, head down this way. That's a tree. Burn the tree down so you can get past it. Okay, more of the civilians being murdered. I think they're pretty much all over there. Oh, it's a cyber disc. It's a flying... Oh, crap. Yeah, cyber discs can fly. Um, so, how do we avoid being killed by the cyber disc? We run. We run. And we run. So, yeah. There's a cyber disc floating here in this alley, blocked off by walls where we can't really get at it. Wither Soul, can you maybe take shots? You cannot really take shots. Crap, 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 crap. And there's an alien there on the ground. We may well be able to do something about him. Okay, we got him. But there's at least two or three more. So I'm thinking we may have to flank to the south. I don't think that guy can. He can come around this way. If he floats down that way, I don't think he'll have enough time units for many shots, if any. So Drunut. Or Drunut, whatever you are. Run south. Wither Soul. I don't really want to get you over here because you'll just get pinned down by the uh, by the dude. I actually want you to be behind the wheel where you have a little bit of cover and you can pop out to shoot if necessary. Exalted can stay there. Gus has also used up his rockets. So he will draw his pistol. Let's throw a little bit more light on the situation insofar as we can. And Gus will run into the house to take as much cover as possible. Yikes. Lobster Man, take up a sniper position. How is there a corpse up here? Oh, that's a civilian corpse. Okay. That was 
I think probably the toughest civilian I've ever seen. Uh, Drunut, keep running. This is risky. If there's an alien down here that I haven't seen, Drunut is super boned. But, I can only gamble on there not being one. Uh, has he moved? Has he moved? Okay, over here is one, one place where I know that uh, he can't shoot me. The disc can't shoot me. So yeah, let's get Wither Soul over here up, up north as well. See if we can kind of flank him from two directions. Exalted. We killed that sectoid. I'm, there's, I'm sure there's another sectoid up there still. The fire is providing decent illumination. Exalted can get behind this wall almost. And that's still a two-story wall, so he's got plenty of visual cover there. Gus. Back him up for now. Lobster man, stay vigilant. Up, 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 up. Shit. Okay, somebody has a small launcher. That's what that explosive sound was. And small launchers are typically alien specialists, which are valuable prisoners. Uh, now, at this point, since... Uh, let's just look real quick. So we've got one, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, we've got five guys remaining. So let's try to make them count. Hmm. Awkward. Wither Soul, can you do anything about this? You can. Hit. No hit. Okay, so Wither Soul now needs to run in this direction to make it impossible for the thing to shoot him. Sodratic can fire, but becomes a target if he does. So Sodratic run back. That place is mostly destroyed, especially on the bottom floor. run that way to be in cover. Gus, uh, trying to cross the road seems like a fool's errand at the moment, so Gus needs to run south to join up with Drunut. And Lobster Man. Ooh, can Lobster Man get shots? He can. Lobster Man needs to take just whatever shots he can find. He's trying to shoot through the windows. And it's not working out for him. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it'll draw his, its attention. Crap. Oh, that is the last thing I needed. The absolute last thing. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Thank you, Wither Soul. That's very, very helpful. Keep heading south, just stay out of alien line of sight. Do you have a... you don't. Uh, I've lost track of it, which is really, really dangerous. It's down that alley, so Drunut definitely cannot stand here. He's got to pull back to the corner. Gus, crouch. Lobster man, stay where you are. Sidratic, okay. Okay, where was that wall? Where was that wall? That was right here, I think? I think it was right there we saw the shot. Oh, my kingdom for an Electro Flare. He's still alive. It's just hovering there. It's right here. It's It knows it's got me pinned down. A Wither Soul. Uh, go upstairs. 
Yeah, there it is. Pot shot, pot shot. Two hits. One more shot. Okay. No dice. That should be cover. Okay, Wither Soul should be in cover and relatively safe. Gus. Flank down this way. Because God knows there's nothing else to do. Lobster Man. Shots. Lobster Man just methodically burning down the... Oh, it's on the ground floor. It's dropped down. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, please. Oh, baby. Yes! Oh, yes. Okay. I hate cyber discs. Cyber discs are the worst. Uh, Lobster Man, you are... I'm... I, I don't know. You're promoted. We're not... Going into this park is going to be terrifying with no lights. Gus, do you have a... No, you don't. Drunat. So I saw a shot there that must have come from down here someplace. There's a wall or a fence or something right there. That's a wall. Oh, that's the fence around this house. So the shot must have come from inside the fence. And if the shot came from inside the fence, then I should be clear. But I'm going to run all the way down to the edge of the map anyway. In case I'm wrong. Because, I mean, being wrong never happens, right? I've never been wrong in this game. Oh no. Oh no. There's another one. There's another one of them. Oh no. And I can't even shoot this one with Lobster Man because there's walls. Well, let's try to burn down some of the walls real quick. To clear a little bit of a line of fire. Yep, just that you don't have any ammo, so just expend whatever you can. Now, Sidratic. So it's up on the second floor. It can't see Sidratic at the moment. It also can't see Wither Soul. And Wither Soul has an intact second floor. So he's going to get on the second floor real quick. Overlook that, see if maybe there's still an alien there. And if so, that'll be a problem. And if not, that'll be a more solvable problem. Uh, we've got a second floor here as well. So Sidratic, get up on this second floor. It's got a lot of holes and not a lot of floor, though. But right now there's a solid wall in between him and the enemy. Pray to your miserable gods, Gus. Okay, Civvy dead. I don't care. Oh no. Okay, okay, uh, new plan. Run away. Out this way. So there's at least two more. <sighs> and I don't actually know where. Gus, run back up this way so you can get somewhere with walls. I've lost sight of the cyber disk. Okay, you just dropped. There's no cover down here. It's all been exploded. Oh, this is awful. So Dratic needs to run back to where he was several turns ago. Lobster Man, keep 
keep up with the overwatch, you're actually doing a really good job. Um, I would like another hole kind of further down so you could maybe shoot down that way, but like, ugh. Take that and throw it. So maybe we can pick it up. Because we've got two we've got two electro flares there. If we can get to them, we might be able to pick them up and use them. So what alien is over there? Uh let's prime that and throw it just just huck it into the darkness. Might accomplish something. And Drunot otherwise just has to stay where he is. Wither Soul. Do you see anything? You do. Okay, you've got line of sight. Please kill it, please kill it, please kill it, please kill it. Wow, you almost hit Drunut. Okay. Gus. Uh, you can see if soldiers end up running for a long time, they really do start to run out of stamina. So stamina is important for battles of maneuver like this. Lobster man. A line of fire. Okay. Yep, uh, screw that light pole. That light pole never did anything for you. Lobster man's just gonna keep spraying fire. Now that guy might be able to see Sidratic if we move out. But let's try it. Yes! Okay, we've got another one, and just as importantly, we've got another fire that gives us a little bit more visibility. Sidratic, get behind that piece of wall. That will give you cover from the right, at least. Oh, and he walked onto the mine. Oh, oh, the endorphin rush. Oh boy. Okay, so we recovered a live alien, which is nice. I hope it's something valuable. We killed 16 aliens. We recovered nine corpses. We did kill a civilian and we lost all of the civilians on the map. We also lost five operatives and a tank. So our total score is terrible. However, negative 207 is still better than what happens if a terror mission goes unopposed. If a terror mission goes unopposed, you lose like 1,000 or 1,500 points or something ridiculous like that. So you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it all day, every day. Despite everything. Uh, Luke Danger has been promoted to Colonel despite not being on the mission. Trip Fields has been promoted to Captain and Wither Soul for his sterling work in the face of the enemy. The, um, I tried to say alien and enemy at the same time and came out with alieny or alien alien Anyway, who whatever it is, Wither Soul's been promoted to Sergeant for dealing with it. So, good job, Sergeant. And we're gonna head back to base. <laughs> We're gonna shoot this UFO down. We're not gonna deal with its nonsense right now. Okay, yeah, good. You just sit there for a moment and think about what you've done. And let's look at our soldiers real quick. Who's, anybody wounded? No, no injuries, only fatalities. Great, good. What do we capture? Uh, what did we capture? Oh, we captured a sectoid engineer, so that will give us information on um, information on a UFO type, but we're not worried about that right now. Right now we're going to sell off our loot, or at least some of it. Plasma rifles, all but a few plasma rifle clips, all but a few plasma pistols. Uh, yeah, we were keeping some plasma pistols. Let's actually sell all the plasma rifles just for the money. We've got a number of small launchers. We don't need all that many of them. So let's sell one of those. And then we could sell a whole bunch of corpses for research. That got us a million and a half, and we're back in the black. So, all right. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one, where hopefully, I'm hopefully, the casualty rate will come down. Uh, once we've got better weapons and better armor, the casualty rate will definitely come down, but 
slowly. Um, as you can see, it's pretty brutal. Especially when you're not the greatest at this game. I mean, I've known people who could go through a run on Superhuman and lose, like, maybe this many guys throughout the entire game. I, on the other hand, I, I mean, I'm not one of those people. I just, I just lose soldiers like hotcakes, as you can tell. So, keep signing up, because we will need more meat sh I mean, fine and valiant, well-respected soldiers. Uh, we'll need all of those we can get, because right now we don't have any. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.